Hello my lovely Virgos, thank you so much for joining me for your January reading. Sorry this is slightly delayed, um, it was basically because it's so busy over Christmas so really I'm sorry for the delay. Let's have a look and see what information we can get here now for you. So this is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising sign. Um, if you would like to check out the other videos there should be a list with January 28th teen on my um channel also if you'd like to order a reading from myself the 2018 readings are still available they're on the link in the description box below if you want to email me that's the email there lauriantarot at gmail.com or if you can't afford to become a patron of mine with the link below just buy me a coffee you know i'm not over caffeinated you know, I'm alright. Um, but yeah, $3 I think is the donation, so you can always buy me a coffee if need be. And also, I would love to hear from you about any future things you'd like to see on the channel. The live um, readings that I did mentioned that you'd like spirit guides and meditations, maybe learning tarot with me. Um, so yeah, basically I'm looking at doing something like that. Um, but let me know what you feel. I'm just going to start by shuffling these cards, seeing what's coming through. Virgo, you've got a big shift coming in January, that's what I can feel. Very big shift. All right, they said stop. Let's have a look. It wasn't very long at all. All right, so you have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Swords. You also have the Three of Wands, the Justice card, and the Queen of Wands. This is interesting. You've got more court cards than I would have imagined. Um, let's just double check and see now. See what feelings are coming through. Now we do have the big lunar eclipse on the 31st of January in Leo. Um, this is quite intense and it's a super moon. It's a blood moon. It's a blue moon because it's the second full in the entire month of January. And one thing I'll also mention is that my lamp has just decided to start flickering. So if you see the lamp flickering, don't worry. I think it's because my next door neighbour likes to weld things and it does that. Um, let's have a look and see what information comes through here. So the Knight of Cups is coming through as quite romantic and charming. You could feel a little bit like you're swept off your feet beginning of January or something that you're feeling a little bit like romantic or emotional that sort of feeling and I think that you are now looking because this is with the three of wands you're now looking into preparation and foresight so not all of you are in you know in relationships or anything like that so what I'm looking at here is the feeling that it wouldn't entice in you so this coming through is very much about the maybe feeling hopeful, some of you may be feeling a little bit lonely, but determined, I think is the word, like determined to maybe leave the past behind you, not really wanting to focus too much on disappointments, and instead being very prepared and looking to the future. For those of you in relationships, again, you're actually looking into the future now. You're trying to see where the romance is, maybe see where the emotion's going, and where that could lead. So this is quite um, an emotional start to the beginning, and I do feel like there's a lot of um, changes afoot really that's what it kind of feels like to me there's something that's underneath this that's moving you forwards that's having this inquisition sort of thing that that feeling of hmm you know what can I do with this Why, where can I go and I do think it's quite interesting that you're starting off with an emotion rather than a very practical applicating thing because Virgos you're very practical um but you are very very deeply emotional as well so it's kind of like you've flipped you know, in most readings, it's like your head's ruling your heart. This time, it's your heart ruling your head. Not to say that this is the easiest of choices, because as many water signs know, if you rule, you, if your heart rules your head, you can get into deep waters. Um, but I do think that your head's going to click back in in the middle of the month because you have the Queen of Swords here. So she is incredibly quick. She's a very quick thinker, she's very perceptive, she's razor sharp. It could be somebody giving you advice um, who seems a bit, I don't know, abrasive in some way. But this is typically a, 
Okay, they're saying not to apply star signs to this one, so I'm not going to. Um, what I'm saying instead is that this person is quite um, blunt with their advice. Um, they, they're very caring, but they've been through a lot. They're quite independent. They sometimes are widowed or divorced or a single person. Um, and you may actually get a different perspective from them. Um, either way, this person is basically your champion. She is a champion of um, people who she takes under her wing and stuff like that. So I feel that this person could either be you, you could be getting into your quick thinking, razor sharp ways, and thinking with your head again, so being very reasonable, or it could be somebody that you're seeking advice from. Or not even seeking advice, maybe getting some. Um, but this is linked with the Justice card. So Justice is quite a strong card. This comes through saying that you have to have balance. So maybe you do have to have the head and the heart balance again. Or maybe it's something that you just need to weigh up in some way. Now when I looked at the clock just then, it said 555. So I would sort, sort of call that as maybe the creational time you may be looking at things and you know wanting to change something up this could also be maybe thinking that this is now a contract that you don't want to sign or that you do want to sign and you're reasoning the two the, you know the pros and cons of actually going through with something binding um it could be legal things or it could be things like education and um, you know signing forms for starting something new or signing something off either way i think that you're going to get some news in regards to something that you're going to have to weigh up, you're going to have to think about it. So this is where your reality check comes back in. And I think this is kind of what you do then. It's like you go, boom, done. And I think this is now coming through very positively for you. Um, What else do is I'll just see what these two have at the end because she doesn't seem to fit in with the mood of your reading. So I'm just asking what she's got to do with certain things but the six of swords is very much about moving forwards it's transitional it's a rite of passage um a lot for a lot of people it's escaping from a bad situation or deciding to leave a bad situation um so you could be moving away from something or someone uh, and there's no limit to what situation this could be so it's not necessarily romantic or professional it's something that i think is very much personal and as you move away from it, you do take all your experiences with you because you don't want to get rid of the wisdom that came with that experience. But also, it's kind of reminding you that you need to keep learning from it. So even though you may not be in that situation anymore, you need to keep looking back and thinking, hmm, well, what did I learn from that? How am I stronger from that? And how can I get stronger from this? How can I not make the same mistakes or make even worse mistakes? You know, that kind of thing. But here's the Queen of Wands. I think she's basically about exuberance and vibrancy. She brings forward a lot of um, intensity with her as well. And I do get the feeling that she's quite enamoured with certain people. She does get the feeling that she's coming through and being quite a nice, gentle person. Somebody who's... Um, whenever I look at her, when she appears in a reading for me, it's always a Leo. And it's always my Leo friend, who's very um, motherly and caring and stuff like that. But she seems a little bit forlorn here. So I'm just wondering whether something is coming through that maybe you may feel a little bit forlorn about something. However, that's not for everybody. I think that you're wanting to grow and maybe you're outgrowing something. Maybe it's just something like... Um, you realise that you need to reach another level on something. That's what it feels like. And just briefly... You have the king, sorry, the knight of pentacles. So two knights, basically. That's quite a strong connection. And I do feel that with regards to this one, this is about the efficiency and the routine orientated. So again, it's the reasonable. Maybe you've gone out of routine and now you need to go back into routine. Let's see what the runes have to say for darling Virgo. Oh, you got two. Okay, so let's see. So the first one is Gibo. This is gifts, personal relationships. Um, I think maybe... I can't tell whether this is reversed, actually. I think that would be reversed. But I'll give both meanings, because I'm not too sure with this one, I'll be honest. Um, so with this one, Gibo, it's gifts and personal relationships. On the flip side, which I think still applies to you, because normally I see it and go, oh, this is reversed, but... They're not really showing it me this time. On the flip side, it'd be about loneliness and kind of an obligation. Um, 
So don't, they're saying don't do anything out of loneliness or feeling obliged to do it or feeling like, okay, yeah, all right, and being kind of a yes person. Um, also, it could be about having a gift or having that personal relationship grow with somebody. Um, but make sure it's not at the expense of you just saying, I don't want to be lonely or be an obligation, being obliged to go along with it. So I think that's kind of coming through there. But then you have the Fehu rune, which to me, this is very much about money. I mean, there's lots of different meanings to this, but this is about money and success. This is the message for you, I think, is basically, work on your personal relationships, don't feel obliged to say or do anything you don't really want to do or fear of being left out um, or having to start again because your money and your success isn't the, is the thing that's coming through. That's what it feels like. Very complicated, multi-layered month for you, Virgo. I'm not too sure where this has come from, but it feels quite in-depth and Again, I do think that you've got a lot to work on. It's not all, you know, humdrum, but it's very positive in many different ways. And I do hope that you let me know how things go for you, because I'd love to know. Well, have you got any resolutions for this year, or is there something that you were looking to do? Do let me know. As always, if you want a personal reading, the link is below. Or you can email me, or you can buy me a coffee um, using Kofi donation service. And that I think is it for now. But as always, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Take care of yourself and I look forward to reading for you in February.